Virgen de la madrugada, dame claridad y tranquilidad. My name is Flavia Lisa Mora. I was born in Mexico and moved to Frisco here in the Bay Area from the age of six, so I grew up in the Outer Mission. I'm an interdisciplinary artist. My main two forms of art are muralism and poetry. I identify as a queer Latinx woman, and to me, Latinidad could be very vast, but I identify uh, more with mestizaje, given that I have both colonizer blood in me and colonized blood in me. So because I was exposed to so much muralism as a young person, given that I grew up in the mission, murals uh, was a way for me to tell a story. That I'm also a writer, oral tradition is very important to me. And I feel that oral tradition can also be read through the ways that murals express themselves. I started off with muralism with Presida Ice on 24th Street. Uh, it's the Presida Ice Mural Center. The mural is honoring the life of Amilcar Perez Lopez, who was assassinated by the police. He was a young Chorti Mayan immigrant from Guatemala. And the mural also depicts other lives lost due to police brutality um, and uh, the crisis down at the border. I think it's important to tell the stories because so much of gentrification is also a part of violence and that includes police terror which was you know a main element that we showcased in the mural and I think it's important to share also the joy and resilience of our people and honor the lives that were lost through our forms of art. I think as far as murals combating gentrification, art is essentially a weapon and I feel that murals bring awareness. It creates a space for honoring and a space for accountability depending on what issues are depicted. The process of creating a mural definitely brings people together in the sense of building community, being able to collaborate, of course, and be able to think collectively as to how community healing can, can happen. I see my contributions in muralism helping shape the future in the sense of being able to use my voice to, to speak on issues that need to be exposed to the light. I think also my work as a teaching artist is definitely something that contributes because I'm able to pass down the teachings that were taught to me to the youth, which are, I think, the most important thing for our future. I could share a poem of mine that speaks on the issues of migration, which is definitely a theme that was seen in the mural Al Tual Fuego en la Misión. It's called Desert Flower, Flor de Desierto. I am the voice of the unrepresented, of those who were thought of last, whose voices still echo in the crevices of nopales and sweet dreams post in the magenta bodies of tunas waiting for the next. For travelers like my papi, lost in the group, Saved from a mossy gallon in the middle of nowhere. His body grew faith from the water of an activist and from the seeds of those who did not make it. I am the desert flower that bloomed. Yo soy la flor del desierto que floreció. Community is really important to me because I feel like it's a part that feeds my soul in the ways that other spaces can't provide for me and community is able to create a, a place for me to feel safe, advocated for, and inspired. And that means the world to me.